Ghost of Mutt reveal. We have a lot to talk about, but I just want to quickly show these are your, they're still ghosts. Uh, this is like a different format than they've done in previous years. Uh, these are like the 90 overall heroes, uh, mainly just Ghost of Madden Future, as well as Ghost of Madden Present. I also want to talk a little about chemistry. So these, these things are going to go by pretty fastly. Jake Bobo, UCLA legend, Duke legend also, I got to give credit there. But Keaton Mitchell, 93 speed on that card. I think he's, I, I unfortunately think he has an injury. It might be out for the year. Uh, hopefully gets healthy to Mario Davis. We had 90 overalls. These are your heroes. These are the lowest cards we are getting in the game tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, no stocking stuffers, no low cards. Don't worry though. There's going to be more zero chill drops like after Christmas. There's usually two or three post Christmas where we'll get our four champions, our eight stocking stuffers, that sort of thing. Uh, that fullback though, Keith Smith, very, very important. Zach Tom, a right tackle. So good fillers. These cards will get Jalen Waddle last one. Chemistry wise, it's a little bit confusing. Now all these cards get zero chill chem, but they also get these weird ghost of mutt chemistries. I don't really know how they work. Uh, they give speed the end, although the futures ones give plus two speed to them. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like you need all 10 and you get the tier 10, which each tier being one player, but I don't know exactly. It was very, very confusing when I was watching it. So uh, yet yeah, that's the chemistries for them and then also for these cards moving forward now getting into the champions 1793 overalls i love this content because rasheed rice is getting a 93 overall ghost of the madden future and ghost of madden present are getting the same overalls of ghost of madden past this is something i've personally wanted for years because cards like will anderson would normally get like a 90 overall or a 91 overall and they'd be like damn really good player in real life great rookie i want to use him in game but he's so low overall it's like why would i use him now they're getting 93 overall cards. They're some of the best. That Will Anderson is up there with Javon Kirst with the zero chill cam. One of the best defensive ends in the game. Will 100% be on my team. Jalen Carter, they're going to be, I think, four Ghost Man Futures. The last one being Sam Laporta. A little bit slow, 92 speed, but he is going to get a bunch of chemistries. Plus, I'm pretty sure he gets Titan app for one AP. So he's only, well, there's one other Titan I think that gets it too, but one of only three Titans that gets that in game. Moving on to Ghost of Madden present, we have Ryan Kelly boring but we needed a center upgrade and especially for the zero chill cam right linemen are some of the most important underrated players whenever we get drops and it's not like we're short on drops we have 17 champions so they can throw in a few linemen and it's fine Antonio winfield or antonio winfield i don't really know how to pronounce that 94 speed though on this card a little bit short but 94 speed safety really 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 good justin herbert a little bit overshadowed by a quarterback we're gonna get into in a little bit but still he gets like you know the set feed lead power master uh, is gift wrath and gunslinger is discounted so same sort of stack as lamar autogram that sort of thing solid card of those releases usually not that good stefan Diggs, 94 speed Diggs always gets Diggs. i feel like is never the best receiver in the game but he's always up there within the meta it's kind of preference with him uh, but those are your present ghost man and presence now let's move on to ghost man past Larry Allen is your first one, right guard, again, linemen, they're boring, but they're necessary for the theme team, so you gotta appreciate them. Next up, Lawrence Taylor, I'll be honest, a little bit disappointed speed-wise, I was hoping for 92-93 speed compared to other outside linebackers and pass rushers we've gotten, but still, it's Lawrence Taylor, he has almost hill it gang, almost 90 overall at every step, but he's gonna be a beast, has every single a trait you need for a pass rusher. Charles Tillman is in a Panthers uniform, which is a little bit weird, but still, 94 speed, god tier corner god tier corner dree archer makes his return to mud i don't know the last time he was a current nfl player in the game but throwback to i think it was madden 16 or Madden 17 his silver card 95 speed the only downside for him 73 carrying gotta be watch out for that but 95 speed running back todd Gurley's price is probably in the mud darius hayward bay another one one of these cards were like he's a madden legend which i love 95 speed and i'm pretty sure he's six foot or taller i think he's six one six two six three he's not short i know that so Gonna be a top three receiver in the game with zero chill theme team. Tony Gonzalez is the other tight end that I think it's tight end after one AP. Again, a little slow, but you know, zero chill theme team will help that out. Here's the quarterback we're talking about. Andrew Luck has the same release, I think, as Lamar Jackson uh, with all. So he's pretty much a slightly slower Lamar Jackson. Remember, zero chill theme team, gonna be 90, 91 speed. So he's not even that much slower than Lamar. Now getting into some of the gods here cards. Julius Pepper safety. He also gets cornerback alternate chemistry on him. So you can play at corner, play him at safety. Uh, ability wise for these guys, I don't know them all. He gets lurk artist for zero AP. So pretty much pick artist for zero AP. Same thing goes for Harold Carmichael, I'm pretty sure. Zero AP lurk artist, if I'm not mistaken. 93 speed. He's 6'8. What else is there to say? God tier card. 
But those are your champions. Now getting into your LTDs. The LTDs aren't honestly like crazy, crazy good. Jordan Addison's good, but like we got like same or better receivers during this drop. It's still Jordan Addison, well deserving of a card. Derek Henry running back 94 speed, definitely more of your bulldozer, but he's still 94 speed, so we could definitely move. Although I don't think he has like the greatest juke in the game. Uh, but he will have, I think, an X factor that's pretty good. And then this final card, probably the best card of this drop. 95 speed, cornerback, Lurk Artist again for 0 AP. So pick artist for 0 AP, Randy Moss. He's probably going to be 1.52 million coins. But those are your ghosts. Yeah, I'm speechless, honestly. If you want extended coverage of the market and how I make my coins, Subscribe to the Coin Bible exclusively on Team Get Lucky. Link in the description. And finally, here, I, I, I kind of waited to show the set. Here's the set for the 93 overall of any ghost cards. It's going to be five, any 90 overall. So, a very chalk, very chalk investment. The 90 overalls have hit once again. Right now, they're going for 93 to 95K. On initial announcement, by the way, this is a few hours after release. I was a little bit busy with the tourney. That's why this video is a little bit delayed. Uh, on release or on when they announced the set, these cards shut up to like 120 to 125k. 90 overalls, I've been trying to go through scenarios in my head where I don't see where I see these cards like under 110k, and I, I don't know how they are. We've seen over the past few drops, like yes, the first drop is zero chill. Um, 90 overalls crash down because of an offer, but again, there was only four champions, with I think only three of them being really good. We go back to last week. There was four champions with really only two of them being good, and 90 overalls went from 70k to 95k of value. Now we're getting 17 champions. 17 champions that all require 90 overalls, and I would say 14 to 15 of them are really, really good with like eight or nine of them being they would be the best card of any normal drop we've gone throughout this year. Like, Darius, like we're talking Andrew Luck is a card in this release, and no one's talking about him. And he's going to be the second best quarterback in the game, a much more affordable version of Lamar Jackson, pretty much. Because there's that, there's that many good cards. Like, Lawrence Taylor is a bottom half card, or a bottom third card, you would say, in this drop. That's how stacked these champions are. Not only do we get a ton... But they're all, like, the worst ones are probably Sam Laporte and, Laporta and Tony Gonzalez. And even at that, they get tied in app for 1 AP. So they become a much cheaper version of a 1 AP tied in app that was the only available to Rob Gronkowski, the LTD. So, like, they have a ton of demand within the meta. This is probably the single greatest, just if you want to talk cards and champions in the amount of champions, this is the best drop I've seen, I, I think, ever, uh, personally. Uh, just... Amazing, amazing, amazing. So 90 overalls, I mean, I don't, I think the sky's the limit for them. Like, yes, there's probably going to be an, a really good offer for 90 overalls, but even at that, dude, if there was two 93 overalls last week forcing 90s to, to 95k, just imagine what 17 of them are going to do. I, I don't, I'm very, very curious because everything I've ever learned about the Mutt Market tells me 90 overalls, like honestly, could be 120 to 125k because you're going to need that many of them. Like, even me that prepped, like, dude, I have, you'll see, I have hundreds and hundreds of 90s, and a lot of people do, um, in the coin Bible. If you want the cards for your team, you gotta take, like, you, you need, like, 75 of them. Like, you need that many of them. It, it's that crazy. Like, people are gonna, one, be trying to sell, but they're also like, wait, I need these cards for my team, so I gotta go use 50, 90 overalls if I want them. Like, I don't think people realize this is an, un there's gonna be an unprecedented amount of demand for a single overall. I am very, very curious what happens to the 90 overall market. Like, very, very curious because everything tells me these cards were going to run out of supply because there's that many champions and they're all really, really good. They're Everyone's going to want them for their team. They get zero chill theme team. They're gods here. And they're not even going to be like, if you can buy 90s right now, like low 80s, they're not, if you pre buy, they're not even that expensive right now. And they really can't be over, I would say, 700K. I. I I'm very excited to see what happens in the 90 overall market. If you want to buy 90s, dude, I think you, I think everyone should be buying 90s. Just straight up mid to low 80s. Buy them because I don't see how they're not at minimum over 100k. But the final topic of this video is a little bit more depressing. And that is the Snowflake Shuffle. As far as we are aware, there is no present reroll. No unlimited training present reroll. 
their decision to combat the complaints about the menu side of Madden not being able to obtain snowflakes in presence is to release a snowflake shuffle, which is a thousand training. You get 200 to 2000 snow, which is not bad, but they limit it to 100. Why? Literally no idea. No idea. Now, I know a little bit about them wanting to cap presence as a way to kind of combat the servers that happened last year. Now, I think that's a pathetic excuse because you're a billion dollar company. You shouldn't have issues with servers on the biggest day of the year. You know, there's a lot of ways around that. You could do staggered releases. You'd have presence release on different types of different days, how they used to do it back in MUT 15. But either way, this is a put, and I'm going to say it, pathetic excuse of it's like a bit it's like a you're we are i don't even know how to say it. we're gushing blood right we're bleeding out and they're just putting a little band-aid on it pretty much because you gotta understand we're into this role realistically you're gonna get 500 snow per per thing so you spend a hundred thousand training which is around 600k coins you're gonna get fifty thousand snow where to get all the presents you need 273k snow if you want to get the champions by the way the snowflake store and snowflakes also convert to coins or training i think it is might be training might be coins on christmas so if you add in the champions it's even more snow and the only you can't you technically cannot buy snow so the only way you can earn snow is through the head event they did boost a little bit of the offline event rewards and or now this training to snow converter I just don't understand why it's limited to 100. Like, I understand the point. Okay, there's unlimited snowflake offers like the 86 plus, the 82 plus, but like, haven't they mathed out that, like, unless we're getting 2,000 snow every single, every single roll, have they not just sat down and been like, hmm, the average person is probably going to get 50,000 snow from this. How much snow does it take to get all the presents? 273k snow so how is an average person going to get another 200k snow to be able to get all the presents in the store store it's like the dumbest thing like it, it it takes one person to be like why isn't it limited to 200 or 300 or 400 or for like the average like they should average it out to where hey if you use all your limits you're gonna have enough to open every single present because that's all everybody really cares about no one no one's gonna use snowflakes on the champions maybe the bnd champions but we're all interested in the presence. So why have they not thought out the the amount of snow you're like it's just it makes no sense. Like it's a, it's it's the right step, but then it's like uh, it's the wrong step. Like I like it was it was a smart. This is what we wanted, but somehow they gave us what we wanted but also gave us the middle finger in the same way. It's like, "Dog, what are we doing? We're just we're, we're ruining presence." There's no point. The presents don't even look that good. Let alone, we're probably going to be overpaying for the presents because training, it's going to cost 600k to roll all that for 50k snow. That's not even that good. The profit, I'm telling you right now, everyone that spends the, the training value to get the snow then rolls the present, we're probably going to be losing. We're going to be losing coins like all together unless you pull the LTD. You, you've already capped the presents to where we're, we can only get 200, okay? That's okay, cool, like whatever. I can deal with that. But capping the, the amount of snow you can get through the menus? What's the thought process? Like, there's zero there's zero logical reasoning for that decision. And that's what I'm going to end this video on. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, again, lost for words. Ghost, awesome, 90 overalls to the moon. Um, investments are going to be fine. Zero chill reroll, mystery packs might be awesome tomorrow. If 90 overalls go for a ton and ghost, for a, ghost also go for a ton. So that's something to look out for don't understand the limit on the uh the, the snowflake just just there's zero logic behind it zero um comment if you have any questions like if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and until next time peace